as I get older, the drug that I'm most interested in, in is one that deals with Alzheimer's or dementia, because I'm always wondering, am I going to be uh, getting this uh, disease? Uh, what are you doing in that area? So we're active, and I think what we're really interested in is, again, the next wave of what might be effective therapies for Alzheimer's disease. Today, there are two drug, one drug license, another drug coming, targeting the plaques in the brain, anti-amyloid drugs, as they're called. But we think the next generation opportunities are going to be to target other elements that accumulate in the brain. One is called tau. There are other targets as well. But I would say Alzheimer's is a really tough space. I mean, one of the things that's very hard is you need to intervene very early because it's a very slowly progressing disease. And the, uh, identifying which patients to intervene on and then figuring out what to treat them, uh, the patients with is really, really difficult. On cancer-related drugs, there are some cancer-related drugs, and I guess you have some as well, but they tend to deal with cancer once you have cancer. They try to ameliorate the, the uh, side effects of it or the effects of it. What about something that prevents cancer? Is that realistic in my lifetime? That is something that's a heavy interest of the field and also at our company. We actually just got great data on a breast cancer drug, which can be given to women who have had their breast cancer resected, but then to prevent it recurring. Now, where there's a lot of interest right now is can you identify things in the blood, things that are circulating, so circulating tumor DNA, that would show that the cancer is starting to happen in the body, but well before it would be detectable in any kind of scan. If we can get those tests up to an adequate level of precision and start to treat patients well before the cancer shows up, that would be the big opportunity. But that's still some time away.